how to upgrade iOS on Cisco routers using SCP or secure copy protocol. So this is from Cisco website. The Cisco, I mean the secure copy protocol or SCP feature provides a secure and authenticated method for copying router configuration or router image files. SCP relies on secure shell or SSH, an application and a protocol that provide a secure replacement for the Barclay R tools. So this is the con topology that I'm going to use in this video. Uh, let me just so it's just you know um, R1 and R2, and R1 is gonna be or is our SCP server, and it, R2 is the SCP client. So this is how you. I mean, these are the configurations of R1, and these are the configurations of R2. So basically what I did here is configure a local username and password. These are already done by the way and just allow SSH uh, under VTY, VTY line. And of course configure the SSH itself and then configure AAA and use the uh, the local database that I have configured, which is this here. And that is the same for R2 here, same configuration. So the difference, of course, is we are configuring R1 as our um, SCP server in this case. So this is basically what is you have to do on R on R1, yes. So the command is IPSCP server enable, and it says here it enables SCP server side functionality. And of course, we're not done with the. I mean, that's how you configure uh, R1 as the SCP server, and of course, you have to. The goal is to, uh, this video is, is to upgrade an iOS on Cisco routers uh, using SCP. So we're just going to use SCP to basically copy the the image from R1 uh, to R2. And it says here uh, R2 will be the SCP client, and we can try the command, the copy command. So yeah, so basically just copy SCP flash SCP colon flash uh, colon and then you specify the remote host, which in this case is 192.168.1.1. Uh, yes, let me actually also just configure that here. So R1 is dot one and R2 is dot two. Okay. Next is yeah, so it's you you have to specify well, you need to specify the remote host, which is in this case is R1, because we are doing this from R2, yeah. And then the username. Uh, username is just uh, username and password is Cisco Cisco. So username is Cisco, and here you ha you have to specify the file name, which is in this case this one, and of, the, of course the uh, destination file name, which is the same as the source file name. And this is another way to use the command, the 
command the copy command so here so instead of doing this you can just you know uh, specify the the path okay and actually let me see if actually, I remember this see if this is gonna work and of course you let's try this first because I'm curious if this is gonna work yeah it works so I also uh, specify the um, the password uh, aside from the username which is this is the username and this is the password and it works and you can also go to R1 and just uh, do or just show TCP brief and you will see that the server is R1 that is the IP address uh, and it has an the uh, the SSH port number which is uh, that I mean 22 and this is the dynamic port number that is that R2 is using um, of course I'm not gonna wait for this because I already tried this um, before and it took <clears throat> you know um, took a while so I'm gonna cancel it so I'm just gonna uh, verify the image. So in this case, not found. So I cannot do it. But I can all I can just try it here from R1, just to show you that this is the command to verify the MD5 checksum. And that's it. Um, it's gonna take uh, a few. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to finish. Okay, done. So this is to, this is the value that you have to check um, at the Cisco website, and I discussed this in my pre previous video. Okay, and next is you have to specify the boot system which you can do that by doing that command or issuing that command and then just verify it yeah <clears throat> so this is a good command here so boot start marker and uh, boot end marker you don't have to uh, configure it this is uh, configured by default so I just I just configured the this part here or this command and then the, the next step would be reload it I'm not gonna do that uh, and then basically you know after it reloaded it has reloaded you can verify that if this router is using the, the new image by doing a show version and that's it so I wanted to make this video because I really want to talk about the this uh, the SCP command that you can use to uh, copy configurations or images uh, between routers so that's what we have done in this uh, video or at least showed you the commands on how to do it so yeah, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.